After Monday's horrific disappointment in the FA Cup, we have got back to winning ways in the Premier League, meaning we remain top five points ahead of Liverpool and with a game in hand. So we're looking good there. Today, though, we've got to focus on our Champions League match against Liverpool. Can we win both legs and make our way to the final where either Bayern Munich or Borussia Dortmund await us? Hello and welcome back to our rebuild of Manchester United, where today we have got those two semi-final legs against Liverpool. We're hoping to get a little bit of a better result than what we had in Monday's episode against Leeds in the FA Cup. Like I said, we have got back to winning ways. Hopefully, we can continue that here. But we do have a few problems with the squad, as we can see. Lewandowski is injured for this one. We've obviously got the registration problems as well. We've had with Moyes Keane and uh, Lorenzo Luca not being able to join in today. And Jude Bellingham and Simicon are also not quite fit enough. So our team for today is as follows. We've got Donnarama in goal, Mendes, Upe Mikeno, Tomori and Dallo as our back four. Nianzu, Ward-Prowse and Milankovic Savic in goal with Fernandez, Sesco and Cliver in front of them. We're at home today, so hopefully we can go and get a good performance against Liverpool. We kind of really, really need one. It'd be nice to at least win the Champions League this season i think i think we're good for the premier league now it's very very, very difficult to tell because we've looked good well we looked good way back in our first season of this rebuild in the premier league and then obviously we lost that on the last day of the season with a 2-2 two, two draw i believe it was against west ham so we're always a little bit wary even when we look like we're doing well but we've got off to an absolute flyer here dallo crossing that one over to the far post and sesco just there to head it home that is a fantastic start. We couldn't ask for a lot better than that. Nianzu there. Back to Dallo. Dallo, that's a bullet of a cross as well. And Sesco just meeting that one with his head. He obviously is the main striker today. He's having to take the responsibility of scoring those goals onto his shoulders. Cliver, of course, very, very good. But very much a squad rotation player at the moment. He tends to be playing in the Champions League. And that's about it. Just because, obviously, uh, outside of the Champions League, we've got other options that are probably better than Cliver. It's just the registration rules, obviously, keeping Moyes, Keane and Lorenzo Luca, like I mentioned, out of the side. We are looking really, really good here. Dallo managing to dodge a tackle there and trying to play Cliver in on goal. That hasn't quite come off, but Liverpool can only clear it as far as our defenders. And Upa Meccano has just backheeled it to launch that attack. It is offside. I mean, I keep thinking we're actually playing at a higher speed than we are because we are pinging that ball around the pitch looking really really good Trent Alexander-Arnold has just got booked as well hopefully that helps us out maybe you won't dive into tackles quite as much our possessions looking really really good there and strong as well we seem to be at the moment fully con in control of this tie which of course is what we want to be doing more prowse has just got a yellow card though and we're now scared of those after the fa cup match against liverpool which all just went a little bit wrong if you haven't seen that one it was a bit of a bizarre match we got two yellow cards in the first half and it kind of left us a little bit worse for where we're unable to go and get the win on although we got it all the way to penalties so we didn't lose the match overall i mean like within uh, the actual time it was just a penalties and penalties in fm22 as well seem to be so mixed i mean there doesn't seem to be a lot of rhyme or reason to them you can have really good penalty takers um against really bad penalty takers and it just kind of seems to be luck of the draw maybe that's just my experience of it i don't know let me know down in the comments below how you found if you have played fm22 and had a penalty shootout. How have you found it? Great tackle there for Mendes. And now Milankovic Savage trying to launch counter attack. Cliver into Sesco. Back to Cliver. Oh, he's hit the post. Really unlucky there. And that was some really good build up play. And fantastic link up there between Sesco and Cliver, considering I don't think they've ever actually played a game together up front. Uh, Fernandez managed to get hold of that ball and we are once again on the counter attack it's through to Cliver he's kind of dodged the tackle from Gomez and he's put it in the back of the net as well 2-0 now to us on the night and we are going to take by the looks of it a good lead into the second leg of this tie great stuff once again there Cliver managed to dodge Gomez I mean Gomez messed that up by not getting to the ball the first time then he didn't make the tackle the second time he was fully to blame for that goal really but Cliver 
absolutely going to pounce on that mistake and convert for us. I'm just having a look down. We have got some tired players already. Dallow's looking pretty tired. We'll leave him on for a little bit longer. And then he can come off. We have got a game. I believe it's against Fulham, potentially, in between these two legs. Um... I'm not sure if mathematically we can win the Premier League in that match or not. I'll have to work that out in between these two matches and let you guys know. Sesco trying to bring the ball forward. He is tackled though. And now Diogo Jota bringing out and forward. But Nianzu back there to cover. Fantastic in that defensive midfielder role. Fully, fully blocking every Liverpool player. And Cliver is through on goal again. And he scored another one. Ninth goal of the season. I'd imagine basically all of them have come in the Champions League as well. And we are now 3-0 up. We are looking like something special here this evening. We're making Liverpool look very, very ordinary. Great ball there from Fernandez into Cliver again. I think at this point we can probably rest a couple of players if needs be. So Simicun can come on for Dallow there. Do we have anyone else we really, really want to rest? I don't think so. I mean, Sesco potentially, who has got a yellow card. But we don't actually need him for the next match because Moise Keane and Lorenzo Luca can play that. That's the only good thing about this is we can rotate quite heavily. Ward Prowse though with a yellow card. I don't trust that. So Bellingham can come on there. Um, that will give Simicon and Bellingham a bit of time to get fit as well. Ready for the next match. And we move on here towards the 90th minute. Still fully in control of the match. Liverpool have had two shots. One of those on target to our 14 and 6. So we have absolutely dominated here at Old Trafford. Beautiful. I mean, we can't ask for a lot better here, to be honest. We're just going to make that last almost time-wasting substitution now. Uh, Fafana can come on for Tomori just to... So we make another substitution, sort of time management within the tie. Um, but that should realistically, I think, be it now. Liverpool might pull a goal back here, though. But Milankovic Savage going to head that one clear. And if we can just regain possession here, that will probably be the final wrestle. Imagine this is last action of the game. Berg crossing that one in. They have pulled one back. Could that be all important in the second tie? I guess we'll have to wait and see until later on in this episode. Uh, it's, it's a good goal, but we had one, two, three, four you know potentially these guys as well but at least four defenders there that could have made a tackle and done something to prevent it i think we kind of switched off at the end there um, and that's cost us one goal we do go in though to the second leg of this uh with a two goal lead which you can't ask for a lot more about than that to be honest so looking at this if we win our next match we will be eight points clear so we won't mathematically yet have won the Premier League because that would be another nine points in the remaining three games. So we can't actually win the league in this match against Fulham. But we can come very, very close. So I'm going to go away, play that game, and we'll be back in a second for that second leg against Liverpool. So in slightly underwhelming news, because it wasn't on camera, we've just won the Premier League. Uh, we did that by beating Fulham 2-0. We're going to go and have a look at the game, and I'll explain how the heck this happened without us realising. And basically, it's all down to Liverpool and what happened in their game. And I kind of assumed Liverpool were going to win their games. So it never crossed my mind we'd win this and then win the Premier League. But here are our goals. Ward-Prowse with a ball into Kaiki for his first goal of the season there. Absolutely took the crossbar off. And Hannibal to Tanali. Some really good build-up play here into Moyes Keane for his 10th goal of the season. Which is actually a fantastic return considering he can't play in the Champions League. And he didn't join that long ago. What's actually happened though is Liverpool, I believe shortly after us drew their match against Leicester so they're in really bad form because they just lost to us they just drew against Leicester and it does mean with three games to spare we have won the Premier League because they can only mathematically get six points now and we're seven points clear so yes to us we have won the Premier League it also means we've so far completed a treble uh, that is at the moment the community shield the super cup and the premier league and then hopefully we can add the champions league to that as well for that note we're gonna have to go and get a win against liverpool and to attempt to do that we are going to be using the following team this evening we've got donorama in goal we've got mendes upa mckenna kaiki and simikin as our back four fofana and tomori both not entirely fit 
both a little bit tired, so Kaiki going to be starting in there. Nianzu, Fernandez, and Milankovic, Savic. We then got Musiala, Lewandowski, and Sesko up front. Hopefully, Sesko can just carry on from where he did in the first leg. Hopefully, we can as well. We obviously take that two goal lead into this tie. Now we just need to go finish the job. I haven't actually been watching what's been going on in the uh, Bayern Munich Borussia Dortmund, I think it was, um, other leg. So I'm not sure who we're likely to be facing. I don't know if that match has happened yet. It, either it's already happened or it's happening tomorrow. But either way, we can't actually see it. So hopefully we'll see that after the tie. And hopefully it will be us finding out our opponent rather than Liverpool. Grealish, though, is absolutely just done most of my defenders donorama there easily picking up that pretty soft shot straight at him in the end <laughs> i don't like Grealish dribbling around all of our defenders that is not what we're about here mendes has got a yellow card we are about that life though lots of cards yellow and red as we've seen in this rebuild allison just playing that one short to gomez gomez obviously making a bit of a mistake last time to let cliver in musiala to Lewandowski into sesco sesco not enough power not enough placement on that one it's a very very easy save that end now for allison we seem to be doing well again though we're definitely in control of this tie once again possession wise liverpool at anfield that tends to be the case they are way way ahead there uh just drawing i imagine on the energy from the fans and keeping control of the ball and hoping if they keep control of the ball then we can't go and score but we're going to try and do it anyway Simakin back into milankovic savage musiala or oh, three on goal not getting it on target that's unlike him. He'd normally be, I mean, at least be drawing a save from the goalkeeper from that sort of, uh, that sort of distance normally. But on this occasion, just blazed over the bar. And we're going to go out for the second half. And we are going to notice that Mendes is injured. That's not great. Dallow, you can come on for Mendes. We're just going to have to see out uh, that without our first choice, a left back. Not great either, to be honest. Uh, Jose Gaia, obviously out injured as well, so we can't play him. Hopefully, he's back for the final because he'd be super important. And we have got a corner here into Sesco. Once again, can't get that one on target. We're knocking on the door this evening, but we don't seem to be able to find that just final goal that I feel like we need to be completely definitely safe in this tie i don't even feel like two goals is enough against liverpool because they can come up in the last 10 minutes you know chuck on the afterburners and just score a couple but sesco there is going to convert that one is it going to count that's the question because we are going to have to go for our regularly scheduled var check at least one of these an episode normally in important games we have managed to get that goal awarded though uh, not sure who it was who made the assist Lewandowski was that Lewandowski just playing that one forward for the run of Sesco he's done really well given that he hasn't scored as many goals as last season but since we switched around to the two striker formation he's done a brilliant job at providing goals for whoever it is next to him Moise Keane Sesco um, whoever we've got playing there throughout his time in that position so we'll give him that he's having a good sort of send-off season isn't he i don't want to put ward press there i want to put tamori there obviously he'll be leaving in the summer i can't remember where he's going um it, i completely escapes me where Lewandowski is going in this uh in this series but some way he's not going to be at manchester united next season either way he's not staying in england is it barcelona I know he's at Barcelona in real life. I think it might actually be Barcelona he's ended up going. Fernandez forward for Milankovic Savic here into Sesco. And Sesco is going to put another one in the back of it. It's going to go to VAR again because, of course, it is. We've got to pay those VAR, those virtual assistant referees, those man set up there with a little earpiece. We've got to pay them to do something. So we've got to go and check those goals, check those fouls. Referee in the middle now is basically useless. One day, mark my word save this video come back to it 10 years from now robot in the middle of the field no referee just a robot assimilation it will literally look like something out of football manager just gonna be that little guy running around the center circle because we got the var so why do we need an actual referee so uh, blah 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 there we go Milankovic savage to nianzu here and now dallo back to nianzu does get a shot on goal but there's kind of a melee in front of allison here somehow fernandez as got hold of that one and put it in the back of the net so we're now six one up across the two legs i think ladies and gentlemen this might be done and dusted if liverpool come back from this 
it will be both the greatest thing they've ever done you know ignore that 3-3 free free in istanbul this would be better and it would possibly be the greatest collapse for a football team ever both on both on football manager and in real life because if we lose this we have a five goal lead honestly just sack me it's fine i won't even mind that that would make complete sense instead of that though it does look like we're going to get to the end of the tie with our 6-1 win across the two legs 3-0 on the evening liverpool having a horrid time at the moment lost to us in the champions league twice and just uh, drawn to leicester so we've managed to win the premier league i'm all right with this and it does mean we're gonna have a champions league final and that's gonna be against bayern munich who have just won on penalties against borussia dortmund so next episode then the last game of the season is the champions league final against bayern munich i feel if we win that that's probably the end of this series because although we won't have done the quadruple we have set out to do we would have done the quadruple we'd have won the champions league two years in a row the super cup we've won the fa cup in a time we've won the carabao cup in a time and we've won the premier league and there's not really a lot left to do at that point we're probably uh go ahead win the champions league end the series because i think that's a very good point to end it on and then simulate forward a few seasons as well to see how manchester united are getting on without us but before we do that we need to actually go and win the champions league hopefully we can do that on friday's episode and if you have enjoyed today's episode please do drop a like down below the video it always really really helps out and it is really really appreciated as well and if you haven't got around to it yet hit the subscribe button as well and join the channel we're on our way to 2,000 subscribers be great to do that before the end of september until next time though guys Thank you very much for coming out and watching me today. Check out the video that's on the screen now and I'll see you on Friday for that Champions League final. Bye-bye.